Can we use quad skates for transportation? That, that is what we're gonna be talking in this video. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. I'm a skater for over 40 years now. I started with two and a half, I'm 42 and a half, so I've been a skater for over 40 years, wow. And I started with quad skates, but when I was 14, 13, 14, yeah, I started inline skating and ever since I've been an avid user of inline skates. I had my time where I used to use a lot more quad skates, even over the past five years, mainly for ramps. And I skate on a daily basis on inline skates. As someone who owns one skate shop, used to run two and runs this YouTube channel, I get this question a lot. Can I use those four wheel skates for transportation or if I wanna do distance, can I use those? I wanna use those for training, for fitness, to get fit or to lose weight? Well, the answer is yes, you can. I usually tell everyone inline skates are much better. They have less surface touching the ground compared with quad skates. And what happens is when you have this amount of surface, you have this plus this times two, you have around this area touching the ground. So if there's a little stone or something, it's easier to touch that stone or to, to get stuck on that. With inland skates, because of the shape of the wheel, which is usually round or pointier, it kind of like speeds. Also, check this, the wheelbase on inland skates is usually longer. And this is one of the shortest ones, but usually the wheelbase on quad skates is shorter, meaning that it's harder to get that balance point. On the other hand, a lot of people feel like it's way more stable to use quad skates because you have a wider surface, people like the feel of the trucks when you apply pressure, the skate turns, and people really like that. But what wheels should they choose? So let me tell you one thing. This channel is actually supported by the company that makes these skates. It's called Kaya and it's owned by Powerslide. I used to work for Powerslide and in 2015, they sent me some light up wheels for me to test in Cape Town. And what are those light up wheels? Well, light up wheels are some wheels just like these that in between the bearings, they have a little spacer with a magnet and when the wheel rotates, they light up. When they first sent me those wheels, they were soft and they rolled really good, but they didn't add the quality of the urethane that some other wheels on the market would have. It would be really cool for skating in the city, especially at night, because people could see you, but throughout the day, if you're gonna be skating in rougher roads and all that stuff, they wouldn't really last, you know? Like, they would start chunking and all that. Now. It's been almost 10 years and Kaya sent me light up wheels in three different colors. They are basically the same. The ones that I got from Kaya are 65 millimeters, 38 width, and they are 78A. So these are quite big wheels, like 65 wheels are not the smallest wheels that you can get, but they make them in different diameters, different, thicknesses or different widths and I think they might even make them harder or softer. What I'm going to talk today is about how I felt with these wheels. So what I did is I got some friends of mine to skate with these wheels. I was skating with the red ones. My friend Mike, one of the best ramp quad skaters in the world or street quad skaters in the world, was skating with whites. And we had another friend skating with the blue ones. And in Lisbon on Thursdays, they get this urban skating night where they skate, I don't know, like in between 15 and 30 or 40 kilometers every Thursday. So we got together with quads, all of us quad skaters that night. We usually skate with inline skates and with quads, but I wouldn't do distance usually with, with quad skates. That night, last week, I did it. And I did the 17 kilometers with no problem at all. I can tell you that it was fun. I didn't felt like I was slower than most of the other guys. Now, of course, if I'm gonna compare these to going with four times 100 or three times 110 or three times 125, of course, an inline skating is going to be faster. 
But at the end of the day, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it having these toes top. So when we were going downhill, I could do this thing like an eagle stance and stop with the front, or I could just go backwards and control the speed. So I did not felt like the skate was not allowing me to move, you know? They felt pretty comfortable. They felt like I could keep the speed with everyone else and they felt cool. I enjoyed it. Like, I know that this colorway is not for everyone, but the truth is at night using light up wheels, they can be a really cool way for people to see you, especially for commuting or for these urban skate sessions that people get together. Now, if you're someone that really just get inline skates, you know that the light up wheels are out there. There's other companies on the market that make it, including Power Slide, Luminous, Micro, the company that I work for, Flying Eagle. There's plenty of other companies, even Rollerblade now makes them. There's plenty of other companies on the market making light up wheels. I didn't skate them all, but in terms of quads, I can tell you that these wheels that Kaya sent me are a gazillion times better than the ones that Power Slide sent me. 2014 or 2015 and I made a video for them at the time I could move with those they were cool they would light up but they wouldn't last as long now with these ones look there's barely any marks I skated as I told you I skated 17 kilometers rough roads good roads whatever no problems at all and that's it I just wanted to share my opinions after testing these wheels and yeah Say thank you to Kaya for supporting this channel and to every single one of you for watching this video and the other videos. And I'm saying thanks in advance if you didn't subscribe yet, but you're about to press that subscribe button right now. Now, if you enjoyed this video or any other video that I do, and if you want to support what I do here, you can always become a patron. It's another way for you to support this channel. Oral, 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 or become a member of this channel. I would really appreciate it, but if you can't or if you don't want to, just subscribe. It already helps a lot. And with that being said, if you like the videos, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments what you like about this video. You can always also let me know what you like about this video on the comments. And yeah, you know what? Because you watched this video up until here, I'm gonna give a set of these wheels. It can be the blue, the white, or the red. I'm gonna give eight of these. All you need to is to let me know in the comments why you should be the one getting the wheels. Let me know. I'm gonna be reading all the comments and I'm gonna be choosing a winner and I'm gonna announce it in a video in the future. Thank you so much for the support and don't forget why we all started skating and that, that is because it's fun. Now let me be a little bit more of a clown. What about this one? Cheers!